A few days ago Unity held this massive keynote in LA to show everyone what they are currently working on and I'm here to summarize it so that you don't have to look the full 90 minute keynote. I will sum this up in just a few minutes. As always, they start with a few motivational speeches. John Wickerteller enters the stage and says, the next big things are the next level rendering, the job system, the entity component systems, the burst compiler and AI driven monetizing. Next up, some guys from Lyft entered the stage and showed what they are currently working on and they are using Unity for in-car entertainment. And one of the problems they had was that as soon as you use uh, augmented reality kits out there, um, they detect that you are moving because you are in a car and they actually overcome this problem and they fixed the character to the environment. The next thing they showed was Cinecast. It's completely new and it's currently in an experimental stage. But what it does is basically camera switching on the fly. And here you can see it in action. So what they do is basically have a bunch of cameras and casting rays so to detect how many players are currently visible with a certain camera. And then the algorithm decides which camera is the main and active camera right now to give the viewer always the best camera angle. They showed the demo with the game GTFO and it's used here in the spectator mode. So the spectator is always choosing one of the best cameras available right now and you always have a good shot and you can clearly see what's going on in the scene. They even take care of um, some basic rules as a director. For example, you shouldn't switch the camera and turn the angle by 180 degrees because the viewer will be confused in any way. I think this feature is pretty neat. They will use it for replay cameras, for spectator modes or even for esports and cutscenes. The next thing is one thing we see more and more often on Unity keynotes. Maybe you remember the Book of the Death, the demo game or the demo scene that is downloadable for everyone so that you can just have a look how to use Unity to get such nice graphics. This time they did the same with another genre. They took the first person shooter and created a game, a multiplayer online game and then you can just download this game and have a look at it. So then you will learn so much about networking, about lag compensation and all the things you need to build a first person shooter game. The sample is already available on the website of Unity and it links to a GitHub page where you can actually download this project and have a look at it. They said they used the new transport layer and as you can see here, they also implemented some uh, compression and matchmaking algorithms. So it's definitely worth to have a look at it if you're planning to do a first person shooter. In the keynote itself, they get a little bit deeper into the new transport layer. They're talking about delta compression, client prediction and some other stuff they are currently working on and they're all based on the foundation of the Google Cloud Platform. So the real-time multiplayer is still in alpha and there is no pricing out there. Um, it seems like they are not ready yet, but they are building everything around it. The next really, really impressive thing is the effect graph. So it's a completely new system to build visual effects directly in Unity more easily. In the keynote itself you see this um, hologram that they are casting in one scene and on the right you can see the new graph. So unfortunately um, we cannot have a deep look into it but it seems to be quite complex. The visual effect graph is available in 2018.3 beta right now. You can just go to the package manager and download it. Next up they awarded the winner of the Game Dev Challenge. The Game Dev Challenge was hosted by Intel and Unity and it was part of the Global Game Jam. So on here on stage they announced that Voltron Cubes of Oclarion win the prize and they were really proud that they received it. The next challenge will be a 
2D challenge and everyone should use a new 2D features in Unity. The link is actually broken, but I will Please put you the white right link into the description so that you can have a look. Next up, they showed that Disney is uh, trying to use Unity as a real-time rendering engine to just create some animated movies or animated clips. Live on stage, they edited some cuts, some lighting and some visual effects. But definitely the biggest topic on this keynote is the entity component systems. And if you have a look at all the and if you look at all the sessions of Unite, you will Let's see that there are a lot of sessions Unite. dedicated to well, the new entity component system. The they showed the scene yeah. where actually 5,000 individual cars are flying around and really preventing other. collisions yeah. and every uh, single car has its own script and is really behaving not static but dynamic and react to its environment. And the best thing is it works on the phone so it will really bring this performance boost not only to desktop PCs but also to the mobile phones so that we can use it everywhere to build broader and bigger games. And that was basically it. So in my opinion the keynote in Berlin was uh, more excited because they introduced the new prefab workflow and this thing was really missing here. But um, yeah. We are looking into the future and we will see what Unity got for us. And I think in a few days the uh, new Unity version 2018.3 will come out and that's the last version of the year. And maybe some of the features we saw in this keynote will be in the next version Unity 2019.1. So, um, see you then. Bye.